So I've been meaning to talk about this for a while. Um, and it's uh, a problem I have with communists I've met in the United States, uh, the country I was born in and always have lived in. Uh, but, you know, because um, I was complaining on Facebook, you know, just a little ago. If you go back, it's the 23rd or something right now. I just posted a long post. It's about four or five in the morning. And I'm talking about my dilemma, you know, my uh, also disgust uh, for willful ignorance. You know, um, I have friends on the West Coast and the East Coast of the United States on the East Coast where I grew up. A lot of people, as I talked about, want to be gangsters. That's the whole culture there. On the West Coast where I have friends, you know, everybody's trying to attain, attain spiritual enlightenment. Uh, you know, the parts I go to at least, but they got gangsters over there too. But the point is, you know, the gangster culture is all around the United States. But the point is that, you know, I started thinking to myself as a communist, you know, I shouldn't be complaining to baby between these people. Obviously, the most responsible thing to do and, you know, what should be my duty is to contact other communists and be more active with them. But I just remember my last one of my last experiences is I met Rainer Shia and his little group and uh, they're all college students, you know, that I felt like didn't relate to me or my struggle at all. And, you know, it really affected me emotionally. Um, and I feel like a lot of people will, will not understand this unless you slept outside night after night in the cold, you might not understand this, but I'm seeing these people who call themselves communists march around the whole fucking town doing a, f and I joined them, you know, to show solidarity. But well, as a homeless person, to me, what was more, uh, you know, worrying, what they're worrying about is the issue to their, the big issue of the town for the communists of Humboldt County is that there's one police officer stationed on their campus. And this black girl says she came up and spoke and says she was scared and so much anxiety having that police officer there. And, you know, and I understand that. That's validated, of course. And so that's why, of course, I showed my solidarity. I did the little march. They did a march all the way from the main park in Arcata, Humboldt County, California, to, um, the college and back and I marched with them, chanted with them. I didn't sh oppose anything they said. I didn't argue with them. Uh, I, I, I didn't even make my concerns known, which I should have, you know, that would have been the good thing for me to do as a communist, not, you know, but you know, it was a hard time for me. Like I said, I was literally sleeping outside when I met, when I met them. And then right after that, I uh, started uh, doing some substances which really messed up my mind, really made me <laughs> very against them, very against Rainer Shear for multiple reasons, okay? Uh, you know, the major reason was uh, the ideology itself that he follows and preaches to people, but which is not Marxism-Leninism. Um, but, you know, what I wanted to express here that was really important to me was how it was very emotional for me when, you know, I see this, black girl and i know just me saying it like this is like you know the white guy saying oh what it's not about the white people okay it's about homeless people in general and you know i see this whole fucking town and they're they're passing out needles to drug addicts all right that's what they do in a lot of these western west united states places okay in bigger cities i guess where i come from that would be a people will laugh like they, they would not believe it. But yeah, they pat, they're fucking passing out news. And I get it. Safe use. I support that. But what I'm saying is they're just like completely ignoring all these homeless people around the park. They're in the park. Like the, my mind as a homeless person, I know all the other homeless people in the park think they're fucking idiots. <laughs> you know, look at these fucking college kids march, marching around. You know, even while we were... <laughs> I just remember this part. While we were almost to the college, some homeless drug addict was talking shit to us. Literally, literally. Because this group of communists does not help the homeless in their community. 
You know, m- maybe they have, but de- definitely not enough to be represented with, you know, a, a communist organization I would be proud of, you know, and, and that's something I would have to, I can't just say, oh, this should appear, you know, I should try to help one f- uh, come into formation would be all the homeless people in the town will recognize those communists. And come up and say, what's up, guys? How you doing? Thank you so much for helping the community. No, that's, that's, not, that's not what I encountered when I uh, met uh, Rain. And it just hurt me because, you know, um, when, when I first met uh, Rain or Shia online, he had like 12K followers on Twitter. You know, I guess he got in when the comrade follow comrades back thing was big on Twitter, you know, um, you know, <laughs> not try joking for that. But anyways, uh, yeah. So, you know, I was I was excited to meet uh, a well-known communist in the United States, um, you know, who was involved in their local community and had a local community organization. I was so excited. But. What I observed felt like I felt like did not represent anything um, what a communist move uh, organization should be, you know, the, like they're just complete and and it, it is a part of our struggle, you know, um, to uh, limit the uh, try to um, trying to think of the correct words. Um, to be against, uh, you know, the capitalist police um, and their uh, intimidation, um, you know, and um, what was the best word? Uh, violence they actually inflict upon uh, disproportionately marginalized individuals. And that is a big part of our struggle. But just because you're college students and this is the only issue that's important to you. And, and another part of California, I met another communist, this girl, uh, and she's like anti-police terror project. So what I've seen is most of these communist organizations, their main uh, complaint is, is the police, which is, is a uh, noble uh, endeavor. You know, and it, it is part of the communist struggle in a capitalist country to fight back against the oppressive capitalist police force, which w- works for the capitalist ruling class against the poor people. Yes, that is part of our struggle, but it's not our only struggle. That's, I, I mean, I, I, of course, I know, or at least I would hope, you know, I, I would assume that, yeah, any communist organization in the U.S. could pull up the records and say, oh, we passed out soup. This on um, this month of this year, we did this, okay, to help the homeless. Now I would hope that that's I, I haven't observed that <laughs> at all, you know. Uh, and, and I've been homeless in many states. It's never a communist organization who's helping, who's passing out food to us homeless people outside. Never. It's always some fucking Christian organization. It's always the Christian organizations who are taking in homeless people who have homeless shelters all across the country and are telling them, oh, your problem is you're not right with Jesus. No, your problem is this capital system which is oppressing you. So that's why one of my biggest goals I I see for myself right now would be to raise enough funds uh, to uh, make a communist homeless shelter to help homeless people, give them a place and, you know, uh, help them succeed as best they can in this society, but uh, educate them because the way these homeless shelters are set up, much of these Christian homeless shelters around the U.S., I've been in ones all across the United States, all in different states. Uh, What they do is usually you have to come back by a certain time and you have to listen to a sermon first, like a preacher preach to you. Or something like that, and then you get to eat your food. Okay, so if, if if that's the standard in the industry, you know, and of course, if if I did it, they would be <laughs> they'd be like, oh my god, they're educating homeless people to be communists. I'm like, y'all was telling them they need to be a warrior for Jesus. You know what I'm saying? But besides all of that, you know, I just didn't uh, didn't feel like these people actually cared you know, about lower class people. I felt like they, they were very liberal, 
and their idea of what social justice is. You know, to sit there and parade this one black girl in your group and her story about how she has anxiety. It's not even, I didn't hear any story of police brutality. I mean, there may have said one, but I don't remember it. All I just heard is her saying she has anxiety. It's kind of liberal. And to not recognize the economic part, I didn't hear anybody talk about economics. I didn't hear anybody talk about any economic problems of the town or the townspeople or the workers. I, I didn't hear anybody talk about the workers. <laughs> Swear to God. And uh, when I first met Rainer Shear, we had some pizza. Um, and I, I swear to God, this is this is the truth. OK. Um, and later they, they've they spread lies about me. He made this long ass comment on a YouTube video. Another YouTuber made it made of me, his buddy. Um, and said that I uh, said I hadn't that I had nationalistic views. Never have I. Ever. He, he can, cannot show any proof of that. I guarantee it said that I was buddies with Caleb Moppin, never was, never even talked to him personally. You know, always been against this whole uh, patriotic socialism bullshit. You know, but I realized they were fake also, you know. Uh, well, I guess the patriotic socialists are real in what they want to achieve. You know, um, like they say, the old Malcolm X saying, Conservatives are are like a lion, you know, and uh, um, the liberals are like the wolf in sheep's clothing or the fox. You know, the lion's just going to eat you. The fox or the wolf in sheep's clothing, you know, basically, that's, you know what I'm saying? I don't fuck with none of them. I don't like either of them, you know, and I think both of them, both sides are wrong that I've encountered, but, you know, I just think, um, you know, this, these college students who call themselves communists uh, really do not care at all about the lower classes. You know, that, and, and I don't think that's actually true. I think in their minds and in their hearts, they say we want to help the poor people. But if you're not committing action to proving that and showing that, then it's not real. It's 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 a uh, deceitful caring that you have. You know, if I mean, I I fell down a wrong path when I was in Humboldt County, and you know, just from being homeless there, and in many cities in California, the drug problem is ridiculous. While they pass out needles, and the communists are like, yes, this is okay, yes. Let the drug addicts and homeless drug addicts shoot up. We what we have to stop is the anxiety this this one uh, black college student feels whenever she sees a police car in the parking lot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like like, and I have to say every time I acknowledge you know that anxiety is real, and you know the uh, police uh, brutality is real, and you know I'm definitely not for the capitalist police force. But it just, it really put me up. Oh, so this is what I want to say. And I'll end the video with this. I swear to God, on my life, cross my heart, hope to die. This guy, Rainer, this guy, Rainer, when I first meet him, I bought him some pizza, right? And we're sitting at a pizza shop, you know what I'm saying, in an arcade or whatever, you know. And this guy starts talking to me about it, it, it's just I, I want to say it in the best way because it's just like it's just so crazy. <laughs> He's talking to me about oh, I'm trying to think of exactly where he said it, but I forgot exactly how he said it. He's basically telling me this whole spiel, and I'm just looking at him, and he's telling me this whole spiel about how fucking um, people are gonna be going more towards the cities. There's gonna be environmental disasters, or you know, and. So more and more people are going to be going towards the cities and that's going to be the right time for, you know, us to uh, easily take power. And he's going to this whole fucking theory about the environment fucking forcing millions of more people into the cities and making it some fucking, uh, uh, you know, overpopulation shit that I'm like, bro, this is not 
like I didn't tell him that. You know, I just stayed quiet. Cause I honestly I, I don't I don't think I had the ability to to you know respond to that you know at the time you know and 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 I didn't want to I didn't want to start off on the wrong foot okay with I was like I said I was excited you know to meet other communists <laughs> and so but now as I, as I respond to it now I'm just saying it's not communism <laughs> it's opportunism you know um which you know what I'm saying I'm not I'm not saying the idea couldn't work and wouldn't be beneficial, but the fact that he's thinking of all these uh, tactical plans instead of trying to win over the poor and working class people, especially all these homeless people they have in California. I swear to God, if the communists, especially if the communists in California could really reach out to the homeless people there and really make a difference in their lives. Then they would have a lot more power. There is so many hom homeless people from all across the U.S. who just go to California to be homeless. So there's a lot of homeless people there, and the communists doesn't look like they give a shit about them, honestly. Well, I will say you, I will say uh, the woman who broke my heart. <laughs> Not really. I didn't really know her, but you know she she was real nice, and and seemed interested in me. I'm not saying romantic, just as a person, you know, and I guess she she was going through a lot. So, but anyways, this this one woman I met, she called herself a communist in the Bay Area, right? And she did send me some money to eat because she saw my live. We was talking about uh, communism because we battled each other at first, and she sent me money for some food. So. You know what? I got to give her credit for that. But I was homeless and I bought fucking pizza for Rain or Shea and he's a fucking middle class college student. Like like this dude literally lives with his parents still probably. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, I'm like, OK, you know what? She got the credit for that. But still, still, what is she doing for the homeless people, man? She 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 helped me get a job at, at her at her work. But then but then she quit. And then, and then she did, she just told me to stop hitting her up. So, anyways, I, I don't want to go into it because you know. Anyways, I'm very disappointed in all the communists here, all of you, all of you, all of you. That's it.